Coruscant. Coruscant. This is the first time I've ever worked with rust converter, and I decided to go with Coruscant because it's non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-toxic, and it's water-based, so it's easy to clean up with soap and water. Mainly, it was because it was non-toxic, so it's better for me. This stuff actually smells kind of like Elmer's, Elmer's glue. It's kind of funny, it looks like Elmer's glue too. My one concern with Coruscant is whether or not it's gonna work on parts that aren't thoroughly rusted. It seems from reading forums and watching YouTube videos, people suggest that Coruscant has to be applied to parts that are thoroughly rusted. Because when you apply the stuff, rusty parts will start turning black. That in effect converts metal, iron, into a different kind of metal that doesn't rust and then it's safe to paint over that kind of thing. So on the back of this wheel you can see it's turning black nicely which means the core seal is doing its job. However, on the front the jury's still out. This portion of the tire had some paint still left on it that I didn't sand off. And I'm not really sure what the core seal will do on that kind of surface, non-rusty surface. So I decided it was probably a good idea to do a small test before I jump over to the horse trailer because the horse trailer also has some rusty parts and some painted parts. And my thought is, since I've never worked with this stuff before, <laughs> make sure that it functions properly on an insignificant part that's out of sight, that's not going to be a huge eyesore, um, you know, one that I'm not going to have to redo if something goes terribly wrong. So pro tip, when working with a new substance for the first time, when doing a procedure for the first time, try it on a part that's not very visible, i.e. don't do it on that, do it on this. It's been 24 hours, hopefully the core seal has had time to cure. Let's look at it and see how our work turned out. Everybody online says that what you don't want to see after applying Core Seal is orange. And I'm definitely seeing orange. So that's not a great sign. Orange means that the compound applied wasn't applied properly and it's not doing its job. As you can see, there's lots and lots of orange over here. <clears throat> I'm going to assume that means I'm going to have to resand this side of the tire, get it down to the rust, reapply it. And so that's just the truth. Let's look at the other side. <clears throat> hmm. This is much better. You're good, Kai. You just you do your thing. This side is black. There's a little bit of patchy orange, but it's not bright orange, which makes me think maybe just another coat of Coruscant would fix that right up. Long story short, it has to look more like this and less like that. The trickiest part of this entire process really comes in the prep phase. So before you start applying Coruscant, you want to prepare your metal correctly. 
And what that means is that you want to degrease it, take off any sort of films or anything that might be present on the metal. So essentially you want to give it a nice wash with warm soapy water. Um, Chorus Seal also has like their own cleaner. I didn't use it because I don't have any on hand and I did have some dish soap. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to wash your metal. I wish I had video footage of this, but I didn't think to make this video when I was doing the prep work. So sorry guys, sorry boys and girls, my bad. Once you've cleaned your object and it's thoroughly dry, the next step is to brush off any loose or flaky rust. So the best way to do this is to run a wire brush over your object. Uh, here is where a lot of people go wrong because they want to polish the crap out of their metal. So they eliminate all the rust, they grind it off, they sand it off. And without that rust, the rust converter can't do its job. That being said, you also don't want any sort of loose or flaky rust pieces. You don't want any rust dust. So just take your time, go over the rust with a metal brush. With this weight that you see in front of me, it had some old paint on it. So it was mostly rusty, but there was some glossy paint on it. And the rust converter doesn't do a great job. You know, it's not gonna convert paint, basically. It will seal it, because this stuff is also a primer, but it's not gonna adhere to glossy paint. So if you have mixed surfaces where there's rust and old paint, I recommend going over that with some 80 grit sandpaper basically taking off the shine, making it matte. And then again, you're gonna to wanna to clean off any sort of paint dust before applying rust converter. So, step one, wash your metal, let it dry. Step two, go over it with a wire brush. Kinda of take off anything that's loose, uh, that's not gonna <laughs> stick to the metal very well. Your ultimate goal is to get whatever surface you're converting to have a smooth layer of tightly adhering rust. Capiche? After that, you can choose to wash it again. You know, if you have some rust dust, that might be nice or not. Make sure the metal is thoroughly dry. And at that point, you're ready to convert. And what that basically means is you're gonna apply a very thick coat of Chorus Seal on your metal surface. Now, in a lot of videos that I watched, people were doing it with these things. In practice, I found that these are garbage because as you're applying Cora Seal on with this, it's actually taking off Cora Seal. So, I recommend just using a good old paintbrush because it's much easier to apply a thick coat. Once you start applying a thick coat, your rusty metal is gonna start turning like a whitish purple color. And that's a sign that the product is working. That's a very good sign. And at that point, as it begins to quickly dry, just keep applying more and more Cora Seal onto it. And what you'll see is that it's gonna start morphing from purple to black. And that means you're doing your job 100% correctly. The rust converter is working properly and it's gonna drastically extend the life of your metal. Once you've applied a nice thick coat of Cora Seal, approximately eight millimeters to 10 millimeters in thickness onto your metal surface, let it dry thoroughly, 24 to 48 hours. And at that point, the process is complete and you did everything correctly. Um, again, as I mentioned already, Cora Seal also works as a primer. So what you could do if you wanna further increase the longevity of the seal is coat it with some sort of gloss or paint or whatever or just leave it as is and then do it later do it again once the rust comes back look at how pretty that is smooth and converted it's basically as easy as that i'm just so proud of myself look at these things they're beautiful and that's all i have to say about that hopefully this has been helpful and I wish you luck in converting your rust.